Our viewer question today uh, is about water fast, which I know you definitely have some experience in. They would like to know what is the longest that someone can safely water fast at home? Aha, uh -huh. glad you uh, put those last two very important words yes. as far as uh, fasting at home. If the question were just how long can the human body water fast? Well, it's just remarkable what we what the body can do and what we've seen. When I was on the medical staff at True North Health Center in Santa Rosa, California, we would supervise, these are medically supervised water fasts to uh, achieve a medical effect. Someone's got runaway high blood pressure, out of control lupus, um, with an inflammatory fire raging in their tissues. A water fast is really remarkable in its anti-inflammatory abilities. And sometimes you've got to extend them for days and days and days. And the longest fast that uh, we supervised at True North was 40 days. And, uh, and uh, yes, absolutely people can do that. Now, not everybody can, not everybody should, uh, but absolutely this is medically supervised water fasting. We watch these folks like a hawk. We do blood tests every week. We check in on them twice a day. We're checking their vital signs. If there's the slightest indication that they're not doing well, that's the end of the water fast. We convert it to a juice cleanse. We get them back eating again. But uh, we've had quite a number of patients who really had to do 40-day fast, and the body can do that. That said, if you are at home, uh, the issue is the side effects of fasting when, and some of just the inevitable physiology as the days go by as you, you know, no matter how much water you drink, a lot of it just goes out of the tissues, you're, you're urinated out, and the circulating blood volume just decreases. Blood pressure go down on a fast. And that can lead to problems as far as people standing up and their blood pressure drops and they get lightheaded, they pass out. Uh, as people detoxify, they can uh, have all sorts of waste products in their tissues come into their bloodstream and they get nauseated and they start vomiting. If you're on a water fast and, you, and you're vomiting and you can't hold water down, not a good situation. So for that reason, uh, <clears throat> the general rule is that uh, the longest day, absolutely, is a five-day fast at home. Uh, if we want just a, the quicker answer, five days is the outside. Now, but if you've never fasted before and you're just putting your toe in the water, start with just a one-day fast. Just, just drink water for a day and see how you do. Yeah, the first day is usually the roughest anyway. It's, it's not a fun day. Uh, you're hungry, you're thinking about food, how much longer do I have to do this? Um, and, but, but you see, you can get through one day just drinking water. It's not well, uh, and then be brave and, and next weekend put two days together, do Saturday and Sunday on water. You, you'll do just fine. Uh, and uh, you break it with some vegetable soup or vegetable broth or some steamed veggies. And then if you're feeling uh, adventurous, uh, a week or two later, do three days on, on water. And you'll see, yes, in fact, it starts getting very interesting because by day three, you're in ketosis. And one advantage, it means you're burning fast, uh, the ketones circulating in your blood, uh, they pretty much suppress hunger. And it's a remarkable uh, sensation on, on day three, four at the latest. Most people, most, not everybody, but most people, hunger's gone now by day, by day three. And, and all the energy that people use to digest their food normally on a water fast is freed up. And people feel that energy, and uh, and people would stop me in the courtyard. I haven't felt this good in years. I got energy here. I uh, I feel wonderful. I haven't eaten in three days, but I feel wonderful. And uh, and and the body can dip into this remarkable energy reserve. But uh, again, it's just the energy that would be going to digesting your food uh, is is available. And so usually day four and then day five on a water fast, people are feeling surprisingly good, and they're not hungry. That's as far as you want to take it uh, at home, uh, because heaven forbid you get lightheaded, you pass out, there's nobody around, or even if, if your spouse is around, what do they do? It's not fair to put it on them. So um, five days is, is, is the absolute outside. Uh, and if at any time you start feeling nauseated, you start feeling really bad headache, you get really lightheaded, you stand up, that, that's, it's time for some vegetable broth or some veggies at that point or turn it into a juice cleanse. It's always safe. Now you can turn it into a green, green juice uh, fast. Uh, I'm doing it.
green juice cleanse uh, the, uh, with my wife and I over the last, last couple of days. And uh, that's always a safe thing to do. So uh, wait into it till you become an experienced faster where you know you can do five days, but that's as far as you ever want to go at home. And a three-day fast is lovely, a four-day fast is lovely. There's no contest here. Uh, so, uh, so see what your body, see how it reacts. It'll tell you. And it's, uh, you're always going to learn something from it. You know, emerge lighter and cleaner, even just one day uh, without eating. It's, your body will appreciate the rest. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a, a, a great answer. And I think that provided a lot of information for people who are curious about doing water fast or juice fast, just kind of about how to approach it, because sometimes it can seem too big. So those were definitely some helpful tips. Yeah, so very important, however, uh, what I just said pretty much goes for basically healthy people, not on medications. Uh, the problem is that medications get potentiated on a fast. If you are on beta blockers uh, for blood pressure or ACE in your blood pressure, they get potentiated and your blood pressure can really go down to your boots. So, um, so if you are on medications, uh, if you can stop them, if you're on acid blockers or something that's not that critical, stop them. You should not be on any medications when you're fasting. Now, uh, if you're on thyroid medication for those days when you're fasting, drop it to a half a dose. Get a pill cutter and cut the pills in half. Just do a half dose on the days that you're fasting. But if you've got serious heart problems, uh, if you're on insulin, uh, uh, Get, get some medical supervision. Uh, if there's any medications that you can't stop, either don't water fast, do a juice cleanse, um, or at least check in with the folks at True North or uh, someone who, nearby who can supervise fast, at least give you some counseling on that. So again, my previous uh, comments there were for people not on medication and without serious health problems. If you do have those kind of problems, uh, call True North in Santa Rosa and uh, talk to somebody there about getting some counseling on whether fasting is appropriate for you. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.